Today we're going to be using JB Weld to bond or glue a cab corner into place as an alternative to welding. I really can't see it not working as there will be a one inch lap joint all the way around the perimeter and no butt joints. And the JB Weld will seal, 100% seal those joints all the way around and JB Weld has unbelievable bonding characteristics when it comes to ground metal. The cap corner was prepared by making sure that there was a lap joint all the way around the perimeter. So let's unclamp this and show you what I mean. On the inside we're gonna make I, I ground this and we're gonna make sure that there's JB weld all the way around the perimeter and that is going to be glued to this right here inside the door jam around here and down the back of the cab and then I sandblasted this bottom I ground it first sandblasted it clean and I gave this a quick coat of primer once you've mixed up some JB Weld you can take your time spreading it on because JB Weld takes about eight hours to set up. So we're just going to take our time and put it on there nice, nice and even, all the way down. And I mixed up a total of uh, four tubes. Two tubes of JV Wild and two tubes of the hardener. And we're just going to put some here. I'm not sure if it touches that, but I'll put some there anyway. And that's good there. Now we'll just set our uh, panel into place. 
and try to find the screw holes. I know I had one right here. And I got that one. And I know I had one here. And let me get these gloves off. There we go. And again, you got to feel good about the JB well taking a long time to harden because it gives you plenty of time. And now let me move the camera so I can get to this backside without blocking your view. And I got a vice grip right here that'll pinch that together. And then I'm going to put a bunch of vice grips along the bottom to pinch that. Now I did pre-drill some holes. They're eighth inch holes for either screws or rivets. And I'm going to use rivets because they tend to pinch the panels together. So I'm just going to go along and throw in some rivets to hold it nice and tight. And they're pre-drilled, but I'm just going to hit it real quick to make sure. And now we're just going to throw these rivets in there to, to really hold it. And you sort of have to push down and make sure that it's pinching it together. And again, you can use screws if you'd like, but I'm just, I'm just going to try these rivets and see, see how it holds. See if it pinches it together nice. And it seems to be doing a pretty fair job of pinching that together. Yeah, that's nice. See, the glue is just squeezing out of there. I'm going to put one more right here because I notice it is away a little bit. So I'm just going to throw one in there. I want it nice and nice and tight right up there. There we go. And now I, 
I have a few in the door jam. And I think the pop, pop rivets are going to, they seal real well when they seat. So that, that's the reason I went with the rivets instead of screws, because they sort of seal when, they set, when, they're, when they're set. Now, after I get this all riveted, we can grind these down just a little bit. Just a, I don't even think you need to grind them down, but I'm going to grind them down. And then the test will be knocking the seam down and you know making sure that this JV weld doesn't crack. So once I get that all set, once I get that done, I'll be back to knock this seam down and fill it. And then just so you can see a shot of the bottom, I have a vice grips like this that you can work in between, so you just clamp it and then throw a rivet right there, and then clamp it on the next one, throw a rivet in there, and work your way on down. And again, this is the bottom. After repairing this cab corner with JV Weld and allowing it to harden overnight, I do think it could be a legitimate method of installing patch panels. I think it could last just as long as traditional welding and may last even longer due to the fact that these seams are 100% sealed. My only concern is how will this JB weld hold up to hammering as I hammer down this seam, grind it, and fill it. So we're going to give it a little test, and I'm going to sort of stay. I know there's an inch of JV Weld in there, so I'm going to hammer it down up here and down here and sort of try to stay away from that seam. And this is where maybe a panel, uh, an actual 3M panel adhesive or panel bonding type glue would come in handy. Maybe it flexes a little bit. I'm not sure how JB Weld is going to work. So we're going to hammer it and see how it goes. And we're just going to knock it down a little bit so that when I fill it, this seam will be completely covered. So we'll start down here. And this is down just a little bit because there was a dent there. And I think it held up pretty well. I don't know if I really whacked it, if it would crack or not. But I do not see any cracks, and the seam is completely bonded together and sealed. So let me grind this, fill it, and prime it so that you can see the finished panel. After three coats of primer surfacer, this is the finished panel. Ready to be block sanded, primed again, finished sanded, and painted. So if you're looking for an alternative to welding or fiberglass cloth for rust repair, JV Weld or 3M panel adhesive might be the answer. I hope you enjoyed this video on installing patch panels with JV Weld or panel adhesive. And if you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.